Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Uh, last time we did one of these levels, I think it was Breeze Harbor over there. Um, we're making our way through this world at a decent pace. Um, next up we're gonna go over to Zephyr, which is up there, and check it out. So, let's go have a look. Uh, got our pride sunglasses on, heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually haven't really played Spyro in quite a while. I, I kind of put all of these games on hold for a little bit, um, hence the big delay between releases. There was like a three week gap or something. Anyway, well, I'm back again playing stuff now, so yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, we're headed for Zephyr. Here we go. Winging our way downtown. Okay, I assume the bird is the good guy, probably. Again, I'm unfamiliar with these levels. I didn't play this game in originally. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation. Maybe the birds are the bad guys. These builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. I'm a little confused. I'm not sure whose side I'm on. I think the birds are bad, which is kind of surprising. Did not expect that. Yeah, they're shooting at me. They're bad. Ow. Okay, um, I'm taking a lot of hits. I should probably try to avoid that. <laughs> Eat that butterfly, yeah. Can I get up here? Mm, looks like no. What the? How do they spit missiles out of their mouths? How does that work? Oh my goodness. I'm a little out of practice on this game. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to attack those guys. Because they're so high up, you can't really reach them. Hmm. Maybe you need to, like, get them to throw the missiles at you? Oh, I see. They shoot the missiles at the other birds. I get it. And then that's how they have them in their mouths. Okay, I understand. Sort of. Okay, and then they shoot them at you once the other bird is gone. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm not sure how much sense that makes, but I can understand how to play. So, that's alright. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Sparks is looking a bit green there. Hmm. Let's just look around. Hopefully we can find some uh, succulent uh, butterflies for sparks to nosh upon. Thank cat, I'm just ain't working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird soldier? Jump up here I don't want to be a soldier. Oh, gross. I'm not a soldier. Shut up. Ugh. I'm not like a cannon, so that's pretty cool. That was really easy. <laughs> uh, I also want to shoot over there in order to open that uh, treasure. Very precise aiming uh, about there. Nope. There we go. And that balloon I reckon I want to hit. And probably that door over there. There we go. And probably that door over there as well. Which we all need to hit. Hey Zoe. 
Gem, 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 gem. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Set all these on fire. There we go. Gem, 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 gem. Delicious. <laughs> and these are the ones from the balloon that got scattered everywhere. Yeah, cool. Face is kind of itchy. <laughs> Don't know if that's information you appreciate having, but you have it now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm hoping there's another butterfly source around here because I am still kind of low. Yeah, there we go. These are little wormy things. I think they're like, I call them grubs, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> A beautiful rainbow, look. Gay rights, you all. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, uh, that's an enemy. That shoots out TNT barrels or spits them out of their mouth, yeah. How are these birds doing that stuff? Like, are they dragons? Do they have flame within their cores that they're launching in a general direction? It's, it's weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Bit of water here, but that's okay. This game, water doesn't hurt you, unlike in the previous game. Was that enemy killing the grubs to like mess with me? That they know that I kill the grubs too, right? Like, that's helping me getting those bugs out. The butterflies that Sparks needs for healing. That was real weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey Zoe. Hey Cannon. I think there's just the one thing to shoot with this cannon. Let's just swing it around and have a quick look. Yeah, that's all I can see. Okay. Looks like I can break that open. Let's give it a try. It looks like it might not be breakable. Uh, maybe it is. It is. Okay. Light answers that. <laughs> Ouchies. I got wonked by a TNT. I got we re wonked by an additional TNT. Are these guys wearing sunglasses? Yeah, they are. Huh. extra life. I'll take that. Not that it really matters, because this game is, you know, a, a collector's on platformer, and unlike the original Banjo-Kazooie, dying doesn't reset everything. To be fair, that was a technical limitation, not really like a deliberate design decision, but it was still annoying. Uh, I guess I need to just like jump down there now. Is that thing an enemy? No. Oh, it's one of those uh, escortable guys. Okay. I don't really know where I'm trying to take him. So maybe over to this shiny thing? Or is that just a... That's a whirlwind, just to get me back up to where I was. Okay. Um, yeah, I've never played this level before, so I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going when. <laughs> um, I think I'll probably want to just drop back down and grab some of the loot down here. Hello. Uh, maybe go to this tunnel. Yeah, this, this level looks kind of complicated. From yonder window breaks. That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Oh, Romeo. That's not gonna go well. Um... The, the play, that play doesn't end well, so yeah, that's concerning. Find the professor. Okay, well I guess I can do that. Uh, 
I wonder if killing enemies here actually unlocks a power up. I feel like it probably does, but you need like a big number of enemies to do it. Like maybe like 30 or something. I don't know. There are a lot of enemies in this area. And a lot of treasure. I don't know if this level's bigger than a normal level. I feel like it might be. No, it's the same amount. I just haven't done that much of it yet. Huh. I mean, I've done about half. So. Uh, still don't know what these guys are about. I'm guessing I need to escort them somewhere as one of the orb quests, but... I haven't found the orb quest yet, so... Yeah. Uh... So let's try going this way. Here's the presser. Spyro, my boy. I've got a magic bean. I mean, seed for you. In here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Plant seeds to climb to Juliet. Okay, let's... Where is she? Over this way, I guess? How do I plant it? Do I need to go to a certain path? Oh, it looks like I can plant it here. That looks like ground I can plant something in. Yeah, there we go. Um... That looks like a bit of a glitch, maybe. <laughs> um, oh, I can plant another one over there. Okay, I see. I see, I get it. Uh, I need another one to do that, though. It doesn't respawn. All right. Can I reach that one? Hmm. No. Well, I'm confused. I don't know about you. Oh, I see, I can burn it. And then it'll respawn? Yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, I see what's happening here. And that makes a bigger plot. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find another magic seed somewhere else. And bring it over here. Let's go have a look around. Have I been this way yet? I think I probably have. Okay, yeah, I can bring, bring a seed over here and plant it in this hole, and that'll let me reach that one. There's also some gems over here. What's over here? Nothing? Okay. Alright, so yeah, I need to go back and get the magic seed. Kind of weird thing for a scientist to give you if you think about it, but... I suppose in a world where magic works, science would, you know, describe how magic works. Sort of, you just do science on the magic, and then you would know how the magic works, and yeah. And then I can come up here, grab a second seed, like so, and bring it back to the other area, where it was a moment ago, which was over here, and put it back into one of these, like so. Then I go back and get the other seed. This is a little annoying. Um. I don't think I can carry two seeds at once. I only have room in my mouth for one object. Hmm. It helps that you can run really fast because of the charging mechanic, but it's still not ideal. <laughs> okay, then I can jump on both of these in order to climb up there. And grab this seed. Um, I'm not sure I need to take it, though. Um... Oh, here? Yeah, and then I can come up and get that fourth seed. Okay, okay, I see. I see. This makes sense. So where's Juliet? Is that her over there? No, that's some random. I'm confused. Okay, so we grab the seed. Um, so we now have four seeds. Where are we taking them? Uh, one can go here. That might be a place to put it. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. <laughs> I'm guessing they stay here, uh, because I need to be able to climb up all three of them. 
so I'm just gonna build a path from here the next bit sort of thing. We'll see though. Okay, then I can get onto this new platform, or set of platforms. For some reason this one made a bunch of platforms. And grab that seed, and also to leave birds. Oh, dang it. I had the seed in my mouth and it stopped me from doing the thing properly. That was really annoying. Okay, oh I see, you're supposed to spit it all the way over there, which is why you have the aiming. I get it. I get it. And then that makes a big old platform over there for me to fly to. Like that. Oh, this is this is really good actually. I like it. It's fun. Oops. That's not fun. <laughs> yeah, I hate it now. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's still cool. I just messed it up. <laughs> okay, so you jump here, you jump here, jump here, up. Yeah, it looks like you don't really need to keep escorting them around to different places. It's just you're building a path of successive plants in various places. They're not great to jump onto, these ones at least. They're a little persnickety. I'm not sure that's the right word, but it's a fun word to say, so persnickety. I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, that's more like it. Easy peasy. Okay, uh, is that... That's Romeo down there. Alright. Uh... Does he know the play ends horribly? Because, yeah, it does. And there's well Professor done, here. My boy. Here are two more seed to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Is it an orb? It's an orb. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. Um, I think I just need to glide to the middle platform. Yeah, and I can put a seed here like this. That's an amusing glitch or deliberate design decision. One of the two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let me see, let me see, now what? Can I put another seed down somewhere to help me from here? It doesn't look like I can plant one down there, so... I can put one here, but then it fills the whole platform and I can't get onto it. So, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, let's try just leaving it where it is for the moment, and just walking, like, flying across, going to the other side, and going around this way. Oh, yeah, I get it. Because from over here, if I spit the seed down now, it'll work. Okay, okay, I get it. Alright, so what I want to do is flutter... Probably spit the seed up that way. Uh, a bit higher than that, please. <sighs> I might just have to walk around and escort it, which is annoying, but doable. Okay, I'll just drop it over here, then I'll grab the other seed. Pretty sure I need both of them, otherwise it wouldn't have given me two. Fly around here. Oh, up here again, spit the seed down there, and then I can jump onto the platform that's created because I'm high enough. Take the other seed with me. Oops, come on. Get in my mouth, there we go. Puffed out cheeks, cute. And then I plant it here. And that gets me to the end. I assume that's Juliet? I don't know. Are you Juliet? Oh no, you're a bird. They're star-crossed lovers. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. <sighs> Wherefore means why. It doesn't mean where. Oh my god. She's saying, why are you Romeo? You should not, you know, be a Montague so that I can I can date you and stuff. She's that's what she's saying. Uh, she's not saying where is Romeo. She's saying why are you Romeo? Anyway, we get an orb. Nice. 
Yeah, people, like, clumsily misinterpreting Romeo and Juliet like that is one of my pet peeves. Um, but yeah. It's, it's not hard to understand if you have the full line. It's like, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's like, you know, deny their father, refuse thy name or something like that. It's very clear that what she's saying is, you know, why are you a Montague when you could be just some dude I want to date and not be of the family that my family hates? Hey, I wrote by accident. <laughs> uh, what am I missing? I'm still missing a lot of stuff here. Maybe I can't get it yet. Maybe I need like an item from somewhere else because I feel like I've done most of everything. Hmm, let's see. Well, I guess they're happy now. You know how that play ends, right? Okay, okay, cool. Bye. Oh, hang on, there's something I can climb over here. I bet there's- oh, oh, there's some more treasure here. Hang on, did I even go here? This looks like a new area, maybe. Uh, hang on, who are you? My name is Little Bo Peep, and I've lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on- Oh, you're the one I need to I find the, the little, away. little critters for. Can you help me get the back into my pair? Okay, I, I know you. Okay, so, yeah, I gotta get these guys into the correct area, so... Like so, this is the pen, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Little boy peeps cute. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Fire. Go this way. I'm not sure what they're called, Cowlex? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, like, referencing. Weird name. That's two. I don't know if it's, like, a more efficient way to do this. It's kind of slow. And the others are even further away, so that's going to be annoying. Yeah, hurting critters for reward is not super fun. It's not even that great in Odyssey, and that game does a really good job with it. And it's still like one of my least favorite moon types to get. <laughs> Although the um the sub area where you're hurting sheep of the clouds is pretty fun. I do like that one. Mm, but the other ones, mm, not so great. There's also two orbs here, so I don't know if I have to get, like, a whole bunch of guys, or... Maybe I can't get... I probably can't get them from down there. Because, yeah... Maybe there's some more in this area I can get. Let's have a look around. What if I climb up that little ladder back there? Which I can do, because we do have climbing in our arsenal. And it looks really funny. <laughs> okay, um... Ooh! Ooh, power-up! I'd like a power-up. It's super flame, I'm not sure how useful that is, but... It's something. So like power-ups. I guess I can break open that thing up there with it, which is which is pretty cool. Also, there's more piggies in here. So I know they're called cowlex, but they look like piggies to me. With like big snoots. I think they're meowing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's climb this wall. What is this? Oh, right, this bottle you have to chase around. I forgot about this thing. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, first, let's head over here. Okay, see, you're supposed to just do this, basically. To break that open. I, I think that's the only thing you need the power-up for. 
so that's a bit boring, but I guess it's something. Oh, you also need to do that. Okay, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't you... Okay, they can't fall off edges. Okay, that's really helpful, actually. I was gonna say, don't you dare fall off that edge or I'll have to disown you. But no, they don't fall off edges. We're good. You there, go this way. And then go this way. And then go this way. Alright, so that's five. I should grab these gems before I go. Um, probably from over there is the easiest place because it's so high up compared to everywhere else. Wait, was that just one red gem? Oh no, the other ones fell down. That's alright. Okay. <laughs> Seems a bit like luster to put that in. Like a special gold, whatever. Um, uh, okay, they were hovering or something. They still on top of each other? That's, that's an interesting... ...thing for them to do. <laughs> five of five, there we go. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something for, you know, the effort. Is it an orb? It's an orb. <laughs> there are two more cowlets out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. Okay, so to get the last two cowlets, I mean, I, I think they're down. Do I have to use the super flame to do it? That's going to be complicated. Hmm. Because the super flame is timed, and they're quite far down this way. Hmm. Might have a bit of a look around first. See, I can find that bottle, for example. Um, I'm not quite sure where it spawned. Is it up here? Yes, there it is. Hello, bottle. Uh, where is it now? It's near the beginning. I guess I'll head back and bust it open again. How did those two cowlicks even get all the way down there if they can't fall off ledges by themselves? Plot hole! Okay, that's at the very beginning of the level where you enter. Cha 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 cha! Yeah, give me all them jemmies! Yeah! How we doing? Oh, uh, pretty good actually. We still haven't got the talisman, which is kind of funny. Usually you would get that first, because it's like way easier than getting all the orbs and stuff, but we haven't yet. It's good for us. Hey Zoe. Alright, so I think what we have to do is use the super flame and take it over to the area with the other Kallax so we can launch them really high using super flame in order to get them back to the pen. Because regular flame does not launch them nearly as high, and therefore is a problem. Okay. Yeah, the positioning of this means I can't hit those TNT. I think I need to, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe with the super flame? Hang on, I haven't been this way yet. Hang on. What's over here? Uh, there's me gliding directly into TNT barrels. So that's something. Um, yeah, this is the thing that I haven't done yet. Oh dear. Oh, that's how you get to this cannon. Okay, I see. And that helps jump in that. Uh, can they shoot me while I'm doing this? I'm not sure. You break that open, you probably also want to shoot in this direction. In order to set off all that TNT in there. If we can. We might be too far away. Mm, I think we're too far away. But we can grab all this, which is nice. Bing, pull down. Oop. Oh dear. Spyro's dead. These levels are getting harder. I think this game may be more difficult than the original, but I'm not really sure. Um, certainly there were some very hard levels in the first game, but I was a bit more familiar with them, so I was having a bit less trouble. I think I want to get back to where I just was. 
Oh, there are some gems down here, so let's grab them. Uh, gem, 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 gem. There we go. And then we want to go back this way, yeah. Wait, am I getting more orbs for killing these guys again? Is that a thing you can do? Just like kill one enemy and just grind that by dying a lot? Because that's silly. <laughs> okay, um... I think I can maybe use the cannon to shoot the entrance and break it open? Let's have a look. Yes. Oh, oh, here we go. A splod. Okay, and that's where the talisman is, so that's the actual exit. That makes sense. I'm not done here yet, though. Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Okay, the talisman is a little bomb. Or an apple. Alright, so, yeah, we got the talisman, um, but we want to save... Oh, hang on, the pen's down there. Okay. It's directly below me. That's actually not too tricky. Let's see. Okay, so where are the other two critters? Uh, there's actually a gem over there that I think I missed. Yeah, I have all the gems now. <laughs> okay, so last thing is, is hurting those two remaining, what's it? Um, cow, sheep, meowers. I believe they're down here. Yeah, there's one. So I need to do something in this area to get them. Um, yeah, I have to herd them up to here and then launch them across that gap, I think. And to launch them, I'm going to need Super Flame, but the rest I can do without it. So let's get them up there first, uh, without any time limit. Maybe I won't need the Super Flame, actually. Like, it's, it's the right height already, so maybe I can just get them to the corner. If I charge them, do they... Oh, cool, okay, well that's easy. <laughs> and there's a second one around here somewhere as well. Uh, maybe in this direction? I didn't think I would need to use Super Flame Power Up to launch them across the gap, but apparently not. It's easier than I anticipated. Actually, I think that Super Flame using part was probably harder than this part. Now that I see it for what it is, it's not that difficult. <laughs> uh, like, they don't even walk off the ledges by themselves, so you don't really have that much to worry about. Oops, unless you do that, in which case you do have a little bit to worry about. What? Where did, that, where did it go? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, where did where did where'd they go? Oh my god! <laughs> um, it just disappeared. Uh, is it? Oh, it somehow got up there magically. Well, that's that's cool, I guess. Now go this way. Go this way. Do you think these guys are like fireproof or something? Because otherwise, this would be real bad for them. Keep breathing fire all over them. Okay. Uh. Yeah, this is actually a lot easier than I thought. I think the supercharged hidden area is, is actually more difficult than this one. And I think you could probably do this one first, and then find the, the hidden supercharged area as the last two, because there were two in there as well. So I imagine that's supposed to be the two secret ones that, you had, that they said they hadn't seen in days. Whereas these ones are much easier. And I just kind of did him in the wrong order because I misunderstood the challenge. <laughs> That's okay. You, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. 
And um, that's okay, everything. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. Is it seven orbs? No, it's one orb. Okay. Um, I guess if you say that's a fair reward, it must be a fair reward. <laughs> all orbs collected. Yeah. Let's head to the exit. Okay, so that's Zephyr, and that's probably about it for this video. Uh, Zephyr's pretty fun. Um, I don't think it's my favorite level, but mostly because I'm really um, uptight about people correctly understanding Romeo and Juliet, because it's not a difficult play to understand. <laughs> Um, and it's not even that good a play, like, could people reference Hamlet more? Because that play's way better. I'm a huge fan of Hamlet. Also, Twelfth Night is so great. Twelfth Night is amazing. I feel kind of bad helping out all these military installations and all these different levels. Like, the game keeps asking me to do that. It's happened in Zephyr, it happened in... I'm sure there are other levels. <laughs> I wonder if any levels in Autumn Plains will require whatever move you get from the next world, like Winter or whatever it is. Again, I haven't played this entire game, so I don't really know what to expect. That's Zephyr done. Um, let's have a look around here. Because some of these, I think, um... Because, yeah, several of these required climbing and couldn't be done until you came back from the next world. All of these so far I've been able to completely do with the moves I have, so... I don't know if there'll be something that requires more moves than I have, but maybe. I'm looking forward to seeing. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll check out another level and maybe just have a bit of a look around here in the home world because uh, if you look at the status here, we haven't done very much of the hub world right now. It's at 20%. And I think we should be able to do roughly all of it. Maybe, like, not quite all of it because we probably can't get to the boss room yet, but we should be able to do everything else. So I might do that in the next video. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye!